Hello everyone, today we will continue with the software part. For that I will again follow the, uh, this guide in the docs.waronzite.com and in here we can go to the software installation and here you can see the operator system you can use. You have three options, main sale, fluid and octoprint. Uh, I was using Octoprint, but uh, I changed the main sail in my V0 since it is lightweight and I'm happy with it. So I will also install main sail for my Trident, but you can choose either one of them and you can select the link to reach out the tutorial for that. So for me, it's a main sail, like I said. So for main sail, we need to download the image file first. So from here. From this link, you can get the image file. I have already downloaded it. It's a zip file. You need to extract it. And when you extract it, you will have an image file of the mail sale OS. After that, we need a, um, we need to write this image file to SD card. For that, I'm using Raspberry Pi Imager. This one. So after putting your SD card on the USB on your computer, open the Imager, we need to choose our OS system. So for that, we are clicking to choose OS and here uh, you can select a couple operating system like uh, Raspberry Pi OS or for example, sorry, if you want to use Octoprint, you can go to other specific purpose OS and here you can select Octopi and you can select the st stable one or the Clipper combination. And when you select it and you say right, it will automatically download this image file and automatically write in your SD card. However, I will use main sale. So I have the image file. So because of that, I am saying use custom. In here, I'm selecting my image file. And from here, I'm selecting my SD card. After that, open the hidden menu. For that, you can use Control Shift and X. This will give you access for this menu. So in here we can enable SSH and we can put a password. For now I'm putting a simple password and we can configure Wi-Fi. So you can put your SSID and password. And also you need to select your country where you are living to adjust the time zone and the keyboard layout on your Raspberry Pi. After that hit save and hit write. So it's saying that the, the SD card will be formatted and all files inside of the SD card will be deleted. So if you have some file or something, those you don't want to lose, you have to move these files from your SD card and hit CS. So first it will write the image file. After that, it will verify everything is right or not. And if everything is okay, then it will automatically eject your SD card. Then you can unplug your SD card. So let me wait for it and we'll see you in a bit. Now the image file is written in our SD card. I will just unplug it and put SD card on my Raspberry Pi. Then I will power up my Raspberry Pi. In the first boot to learn the main sales, I mean your Raspberry Pi's IP, you can use your modem's interface and in there it is if it's your if your modem is supporting, you can you must see the main sale OS as a name. Take this IP address and this should be your Raspberry Pi's. For example, it's minus 103. So let me double check. Yeah. 
So as you can see, the main sail OS is there. Now we need to connect our Raspberry Pi via SSH. So I'm using for that as mob X term because it allows me also the file transfer, upload and download. So this is the dummy one. I can edit this one. Yeah, it's already 103. So with that, I will connect my Raspberry Pi. This is the default warning. You can just say, uh, you can just hit yes. And first thing I'm doing on my Raspberry Pi, I am giving a static IP. So in the future, I know what is the IP address of my printer. I mean the Raspberry Pi. So for that, we need to edit the dhcpc.conf file under the etc folder. So we can use this command. So it is asking our password. There is already a template in here. So I will just copy this one and paste it in the, at the end yes and in here i will just put a comment now our interface will be wireless so i will uncomment this and i since i will use wireless interface should be vlan 0 then i need to uncomment this i not using ip6 so i will delete this line and should uncomment this and this one so so the static ip address the first three octet should be same with your modems ip address and the fourth one we can edit it so i will use 187 again so router should be your modems ip address and also domain name server should be your modems ip address you can delete this one this part now we will control press ctrl x to exit and hit y to save it now i will give a reboot so after reboot it should take new ip address which is 187 so this is already configured so let's wait for the reboot the second thing i am updating and upgrading my system it's a new os but yeah i mean it's the latest os but again i'm just doing it so for that we are using sudo apt-get update and i'm putting also dash y to accept any question if there will be so this will not take that much time after that we will do the upgrade which the the command is sudo apt dash get upgrade great again i will put dash y this will take a time so see you in a bit Upgrade is also done. Now I will make a quick clean. Sudo apt get clean will do the job. Yes. Now we need to create a firmware and flush our spider board. For that, you need to install the make. I already did. I just need to copy paste and run this command. So. Yeah, since I already did, it's not upgraded or installed or removed. Okay. And after that, we need to go to the Clipper folder and we need to make. Okay. Yeah. We said make clean and make menu config. Now we need to change a couple settings in here. You can just cheat from this screenshot. We need to enable an extra low level configuration and uh, for the spider, the board, uh, sorry, the chip is STM32. We need to select 32. And the processor model in my case is STM32 F44.6. Uh, you can double check your chip on your spider board. It's basically the biggest chip in your board, I can say. Uh, it's written on, on, the, on this chip. So my is F44.6. Generally, it is, by the way, uh, 32F446 okay and the bootloader offset is there's a command in here so if it is made after the basically June the offset is 32 kilobit if it is before the June it is 64 I'm guessing minus 32 
because I bought it in the October and after that the bootloader we did and the clock reference is 12 megahertz and the communication interface is USB on PA11 and PA12 yeah after doing that we will hit Q and hit Y to save them and we will say just make now it's creating our firmware now the, 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 the firmware is created it is the out folder under clipper folder this is your firmware you can just download this firmware and uh, you can put this firmware your SD card and change the name to firmware.bin and after that you can put your SD card and power on your spider board I mean the motherboard it will uh, flush it a couple seconds after that basically it is ready and after that you can power off and take the SD card out or you can leave it like that it's your choice but there is another option we can flash it with the USB now I will try with the flashing USB if I cannot succeed it I will do an old way with the SD card so let's see what it requires okay it requires a USB connection let's try it together now it is saying so it is saying we need to put a jumper 3.3 and BT0 here so let me do that I powered off my printer put a jumper 3 between 3.3 .3 and BT0 and I powered on now we need to send LS USB this is for the finding for the device ID of our spider board as you can see it is in here it's the STM device and right now it is in DFU mode so we need this ID for what? Uh, yeah, so we need this ID to flash it. So next thing we will use this command, which is make flash and flash underscore device equals to this device ID, which we found with LSUSB, which is for my, it is 4083 and DF11. We will send this command. So yes. I think it is flashed. To determine the, the flashing successful or not, we will ask the device ID of the uh, STM. Yeah, as you can see, I can get now the device ID of the spider board. So this will be, by the way, used also in our config. So now what we, I need to do, I, yeah, also you need to do, power of your printer. And after that, remove that jumper we put for the entering the DFU, yeah, I mean the boot mode. And again, power on the printer. Now let's see. Yes, now I will send again this command to see the device ID. So this is our device ID. And like I said, this will be used in our config. So what I'm doing, uh, taking these device IDs and storing it in a notepad uh, document. So in the future, if I need it, I can easily take this one and use it because it won't be changed. It is unique for the devices. So like I said, we need to upload this file to Clipper config folder. So after that, we need to edit this config file. In the next episode, we will edit this config file and we will commission our printer and hopefully we will push some plastic. So that means that was all for this episode and see you on the next one.